Okay, guys. Brian, where'd you go? Right here. Oh. Okay, guys, so I'm about to go to... Here, I'm telling Brian the story. He doesn't know yet. So Ali's, Ali's Afghan, and um, obviously all his cousins are Afghan. So they play in an Afghan tournament. It's like... It was like in San Marcos. It's an Afghan tournament. It's a huge thing. Like, there's a bunch of teams, and it lasted the whole weekend. The winner gets, like, a huge trophy. They name MVP and, like, all, all tournament first team and all that. Ali was playing with Rommel and... So, like, Ali was playing with his family. Then, then... He switched teams. He left Romel's team. Oh, what? He left Romel's team <laughs> and he went to a stack team. That's what they told me. Ooh, Ali left traitor. to a stack team. Traitor, Ali. Damn. So, so Romel was like mad. I was talking to Romel and then he was like, yeah, watch if we face Ali in the championship. I'm going to fucking beat him. Don't tell me they're playing Hold on. And, and I told Romel, I was like, okay, if you face Ali in the championship, I'll come watch the game. He's, and then Romel was like, okay, but we're not going to, like, because Ali left their team, so he's <laughs> playing the team. That he was, wait, no way. They're gonna, wait, that's that's a championship game today? It's the semifinals at 2.30, so the winner goes to the championship. <laughs> that's just actually so me, funny. Listen, I'm going to go. I'm going to watch. They're, Ali's playing on some stack team. I don't know. I'm going to record. Team. Yeah, I'm going to try to record some. And then his cousins, <laughs> he, the cousins he left are playing against him. And Romel was, like, jokingly telling me, he's like, yeah, if we face Ali in the championship game, I'm not fucking losing. Please, he said, he, and Romel promised he's going to drop 40. I said, if Romel drops 40, I'll give him 100 bucks. Romel, if you drop 40 points, I'll give you 100 bucks. I'm 40 points. But Romel was saying it jokingly. He's like, yeah, but we're not going to get get to that far. Ali texts me. He's like, bro, fucking show up at 2.30. So. I thought it was at like 6. No. So, so Ali left. Ali played, uh, chose to play on a different team than his family. Yeah. And it turns out the team with his cousins are fa now facing Ali. So I only want to go because when Ali gets mad, it's so funny. Hey. Hey, I'm about to go watch Ali and Romel play basketball. They're playing on different teams and it's like a championship game for Against a tournament. Each other? Yeah, at 2:30. No. Oh my god. And they were supposed to be they were supposed to be on the same team and Ali went to a stack team. Oh. And now Ro Romel told me if there was a bunch of teams, so Romel was just saying it for a joke before the tournament started. Yeah. He said, if we face Ali's team in the championship, I'm not losing. And they're, now they're playing each other. Both them, Shout both of Ali. them. And, oh, and, and they're playing with Kamal too, his oh, other cousin. God. So I'm setting my girlfriend free. She's going to go do her homework. I don't even know what that means, honestly. But <laughs> what does this word called homework mean? No, I'm actually going to the mall. I told her that I was going to take her this week. Okay, so she's turning down her homework to go to the mall well, with no, my I cousin Stephanie. Was just like she's going to the mall with my cousin Stephanie. Shout out, Steph. For me, guys, why am I depressed? I'm depressed because... Mm, I had no idea Ali and Romel were actually going to face off against each other in the championship game. So I was about to start editing my video right now. But I had promised them that I would show up if they go. So now I'm pushing my video off and I hate it because I wanted to get my video done for you guys. But now it's going to be a late upload. Well, actually, by the time you watch this video, that, that video is already going to be uploaded. But I just hate uploading late. I feel like a lot of people are going to miss my video. So they're going to fall asleep thinking that I didn't upload. I just hate uploading late. But I did promise them that I would show up, so I'm kind of like stuck in the middle. So now I guess I'm just going to upload late today, and I hate it. It actually hurts my heart. A lot of people, they get on camera and be like, yeah, guys, I'm so sorry for uploading late. I hate it. And then off camera, they're just laughing. No, for me, you can even ask my girlfriend. I was so upset. I was like, babe, I kind of just want to stay and edit. But you know what, guys? Sometimes you got to put you gotta put your friends first, and you, you could edit. I got to... Just edit later. I promised my friends I'll show up to their game, so that's what I'm gonna do. Brian, Romel said, Romel said, bring the camera for the game because if I beat Ali, I'm spitting in his face. <laughs> I guys, it's gonna be like a hectic game like this is good cousin, good cousin love right here. Romel, Ali, good cousins. Oh, Guys, look at what a hard worker my dad is. Hey, Bosley. <laughs> okay, so today was my dad's day off. They needed a lot of help at the store. My dad raced over on his day off all the way to the store, and now he's staying till when? Oh, I'm lonely now. Till when is he working? Till maybe six or seven. Do you want to come to the mall with me? Come. I just got back. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna be so late because Jordan, who is my ride there, because we both promised Ollie we were gonna go. Jordan's my ride there. He was at the gym. He had to finish his full workout. He couldn't cut it short. So now it's almost 2.20. Ollie's game starts at like 2.30, 2.40. 
Jordan's still not here. The place is like 30 minutes away. We're like 30 minutes from where they play. So I was texting Jordan. I was like, bro, hurry up. And he's like, oh, I just got one more set. I got to finish my workout. But he just called me saying he left the gym. Jordan, at least Jordan works out with a purpose. He actually gets buff and he eats and he drinks protein shakes. So he's actually, Jordan got some muscle. So I don't blame him. You want to finish your workout, but we're going to be late. We're probably going to miss like a lot of the first half and then catch the second half. Are you? Could you put, could you write with marker owns, Broadis owns, and then an the arrow? No, I want my own that says I am Broadis. <laughs> Basil, you want a shirt too? Okay, so I just got off the phone with Jordan. Look, you won't believe what he said. What? <laughs> Your outfit. Wait, cold yeah. outside? Guys, um, Brian, guess what Jordan said? Yeah. Look, Brian, get the fuck off my phone. <laughs> the fact that I still remember your thing. <laughs> Look. Jordan said, hey, I'm coming, bro. Can you please make me a protein shake for the way? <laughs> so Jordan just left the gym. He wants a protein shake. And Jordan's so healthy, he drinks it with water. Not even that milk. Shit's Brian, that shit's but nasty. That's way See, Jordan takes lifting actually seriously, unlike me. And that's why he gets results, unlike me. Jordan only plays basketball like once or twice a week. He could control himself, unlike me. I can't control myself. I can't control myself when it comes to basketball. My love for the game is too strong. I have to play literally like five or six hey, times a week. Play. It's for Jordan, he wanted a protein shake. Oh. Who do I love more, you or basketball? Basketball, <laughs> for sure. No guys, she's just saying much. that. Guys, honestly, I love my boy Ali. We love Ali, but we do. It, it's so funny when he gets mad. So honestly, I'm not saying I want him to lose because I don't want him. I want Ali to win. I want him to lose, bro. But lose. <laughs> for the vlog, I kind of want some footage of Ali getting mad. Give him some background of what happened. I told him. I said, oh, Ali, you I, I told him he was supposed to play with his family, his cousins. And he traded to go on a stack team and now facing off against his cousins. Ali's KD, bro. Yeah, bro. Traitor. <laughs> and the worst part is, even his own cousins, they were like, oh, we're not. Oh, my God. Jackie, you fucking speed racer. <laughs> She can't wait to go talk to some other dudes, but <laughs> no, but yeah, we're I mean, I hope Ollie wins, but honestly, this is disgusting, bro. I put water in it. What is it? I swear to God, I didn't. look, I'll turn the camera off just so you know I'm not doing Bro, I wonder how Romel got to this point because guys, if in case you don't know Romel, <laughs> no, 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 but Romel, he's actually really good. He's super cocky. So for, so for Romel himself, he told me and Jordan, he's like, yeah, we're not going to make it to the championship. We're playing all these tough teams. There's all these good teams in the tournament. So I wonder how, I wish we saw the earlier games of how their team won. So it's uh, Romel, Kamal, those are all these two cousins, and then pretty much all these best friends, Solomon. And Ali left their team, but we're going to see what happens. Bro, we're, st we're so late. The game started right now. And we're still like 10, 15 minutes I've been away. driving like 90 the whole time. Yeah, until you saw the coffee <laughs> shit himself, I swear. Guys, this is Ali's sister right here. Wait, have you ever been on my channel? Oh, you've been on Brian's, huh? Okay, Tim, take the attitude down. I didn't have attitude. Okay, guys, this is Ali's sister. Hello. What's your name? My name is Zara. Oh, God, no, I don't like this. I look bad. No, you have to Let me get. Like, I know I, Jackie I, I, complains about the angle. She said I do it like this. That's a weird angle. I look good. Bro. So what am I supposed to do? Like this? Yeah, hey, it's better. Yeah. No, because I have wrinkles. I'm still gonna post this. I swear. I'm still gonna thing. post that. Okay, guys, that's all these cousins sign up. Hi. The, hey, oh, only one at a time. Okay, say it. Good take, baby. Hi, sign up. And that's all these cousins. AKA Romel's sister. What's your name, Wana? My name's Wana. Oh, What's your oh, name, Wana? <laughs> okay, so all these team, all these. Hey, all these just had a medium. You make one. editing so hard, huh? <laughs> just had an and one. Romel. Those right there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, so we come a little late and Ollie seems up by 26. <laughs> it's 26 to 52. So Romel, Romel promised me over text before the game started. He said we're getting this win. Just zoom in on Romel dog. So where's Romel? He's Romel. right there. Let's see Romel. He's, Romel, don't let the chubbiness fool you. Romel's actually good. <laughs> I'm serious. He's chubby, but he can nail his fucking He's dreams. solid, bro. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> where's Ali at? Ali, oh, Ali's on the bench. Bro, oh, that's the team is stacked. All these teams are stacked. That's all these cousins with the ball too. That's come on. Romel, shoot one for the vlog. <laughs> ah, this game is done. I, I could have been here. We rushed here. Watch, Romel's gonna pull up. Watch, watch. Oh! Ooh! 
she knows. I didn't get that, Romel. Romel knows I was recording. Pulled up from half court. The white line? No. Yeah. The white line. Bro, this court's so nice. The ball hog. <laughs> Bro, this game's over. I could have been home editing my video. They don't look big from up here, huh? Yeah, no, they don't look big. You go down there, number seven. Oh, really? He's huge. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, He's huge. Yeah. Remember? She's got a collaboration. <laughs> a great sports cast. How many YouTube subs do you have? Um, a lot. Like a million. Shout out to who? Oh, Idris. Yeah. Shout out to a bro, a water squad. She's taking over all these duties. Okay, Nate. Shout out to the Bronx Water Squad winners. Winners. All we do is win, no matter what. Okay, watch, 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 watch. Hey! hey. Big dude, big dude controlling the stack. Guys, Romel's mad. Yeah, I know, Superman. Shout out, Romel. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here. No, he could hear me, trust me. Guys, always wearing tennis shoes. Look at number two. Yeah, guys, this game's over. We promised to win. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy promised to win and he got shout it. out we in the building we Sara took your shout out she said bro what? guys they cut the game with one minute left they didn't even let us finish bro, it we killed them man that was a sick joke championship 630 so let's get it <laughs> Romel promised me a win Romel Romel's team had what 40 42 points he promised me 40 himself I don't know guys, it was kind of uh, not too fair of a matchup, but... It's a really nice gym for high school gym? Bro, it's me and Jordan, nice. me and Jordan pulled up, we were like, what the f- This is like college campus, I swear. <laughs> guys, Ali knows, if I was Afghan, I would've ran this shit. You would've ran the course all the way. <laughs> no, you can't play unless you're Afghan, aka Shout Afghan out to Jordan. all the Afghans in the world, we love you guys. Shout out to all the humans, we love you. <laughs> Shout out to Jordan, who doesn't give a fuck about the vlog. Oh my hey. god. <laughs> Ooh, Jordan, look at the cut. Squad, look at Jordan's arms. He made me make him a protein shake to fucking drive me here. <laughs> Guys, this is Ali's teammate's nephew, but he has a name. What's your name? Payom. Are you a fan? Yep. Shout out to Team Payom. We're taking the championship this year. Oh, they're taking the championship. He knows. I'm going to try to come back uh, for the game. I'm going to go finish my video. All right, dude. Thank you. No, right here. Guys, look at this school. Look at their lunch menu. Chick-fil-A sandwich? Bro, our our menu we had the fucking nasty ass They got the ring pops. They got ring the sour punches. They got soda. Bro, they have soda. What the fuck? Bro, Off brand orange soda though. What is oh, that orange, orange That's soda. Straight up orange soda. <laughs> Guys, our school. What did we have? We had some fucking. Uh, oh, ew! Remember the chicken and rice? It's, uh, no, no, no! Remember no. The, the the spicy chicken sandwiches? Oh, um, and their bread is so weird. <laughs> no, remember the uh the what's it called the. Three mozzarella sticks did with the brown any, moles. Did you have any lunch ladies that she liked that you remembered? Yeah, they shout, all had crushes on me. Shout out to one of the lunch ladies, man. The one with the mole What's on her lip, maybe? Oh, you know her? yeah, we know, <laughs> yeah, I no, swear. No. And that's, like, there's really one. <laughs> Guys, Jordan came to pick up some Phil's barbecue. We can't eat here though, cause I have to go back and edit my vlog for you guys. But he ordered hey, it from any, pickup. Anyone from San Diego knows best barbecue. Phil's barbecue. This shit's bomb. Honestly, I've never had it, but if we're being honest, Major I guess it's Major key. Major. Yeah, we wanted to eat here, but I have to go edit my video for you guys. If I finish my video in time, first of all, shout out Payam, the fan that I just met. Shout out to him. Guys, let me catch you up with what's going on. Um. So I'm like I said, I couldn't start my vlog earlier because I had promised Ali and Romel. We had promised them that we would go show up. So now we're racing home. I'm gonna try to finish my video. I'm gonna try to get it done so I can come back and watch the last game. Ali's playing in one last game for like the final championship. The problem is it's already it's past four o'clock. So and the game is at six thirty. So I don't know if I could f I don't know if I could edit, render, and upload a vlog all within two hours. But I'm gonna try. And uh, if I could finish, then we're gonna be back for the championship game. So, if anyone can do it, you can. I'm gonna try, but tough task. We're racing home right now, so I could try to finish my video. Bro, if we knew it was gonna be such a blowout, I would have just skipped that game, finished my vlog, and came to the championship. That would have been the logical thing to do, but we didn't know because Romel fucking, oh yeah, we're gonna win. I, you know what Romel texted me? He said, we're gonna win, and I'm gonna spit in all these face after. I swear. 
guys, look what Jackie got me from the mop. She surprised me with this windbreaker. Look, hold on. I like it better unzipped. Oh, yeah, wait. it looks better like that. You have to wear like black though, babe. Guys, black. look. Wait, I want, babe, hold the camera. I want to zip it up all the way. Yeah. Guys, look. She got me this. A surprise. I didn't even know. I was yelling he at her. He literally was so pressuring long. me. Said, babe, babe, where are you? Hurry like, up. actually getting mad at me. It looks so good on you. Guys, Does it fit well? Yeah. I wanted this for so long, but everywhere we checked, they were out of this color. They only had, like, <laughs> red, white. What? No, you were just so cute. Uh, they only had red, white, and blue. And Jackie got me this and a now dry we can match. Tea. She I love that green. color. That's like, gonna look really good on yeah, you. Yeah, and I have the green shoe, my green shoes, so I can wear cargos with this. Are you wearing them already? No. Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> no, I'm just telling them, like, shoes, in case I don't know what shoes are. And, <laughs> guys, look. The windbreak. Oh, wait, look at the card. <laughs> look. The she card said, is funny. She said, it's our anniversary, and I like to hug you and squeeze you and kiss you, etc. And then, I, on the inside, it said, especially the etc. And that's why I'm not going to all these games anymore. I'm just joking. I finished my thing too late. And look. That's literally Jackie. Go, do it. Go. To me. Do what? This. Okay. I have to turn it off. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. So, look. I actually am in love with this windbreaker. Because I've been wanting it for so long and they were out of it everywhere. That actually looks so good on you, babe. I really like that color. Does it? Yeah, no. <laughs> I like it. Zip, unzip it. I feel like unzip it looks. So if you ever break up with me, would you have to take it back? Yeah. Babe. No, but does it fit nice? Yeah, it fits nice. Hmm. <laughs> I like all those colors on you. Thanks, Wait, I want babe. you to try the green one. I just want to see how it like okay, it fine. looks. On Smaller. No, she says it's not supposed oh, to. Oh, there's fucking fans outside for the third time today. There's this is the third car. That's third different set of fans today. I don't know if. if they think that me and Brian make the videos as a joke, or if they think when we say, can you please not come to the house, that means can you please come to the house. But we've said plenty of times, can you please not show up to the house. I'm still editing my video. It's not even uploaded yet. There's a third set of cards just while I've been home in like the past hour. Oh All different people. Like me and Brian literally nicely ask on Twitter and we nicely say it in a video. We say, can you guys please not show Wait. up to the house. Mm, that looks so good on you. <gasps> Watch babe. this, babe. I'm gonna keep it. Oh my god. Look. Guys, no, but if we're being honest... Babe, that a... color looks so good. I'm sorry Thank to you. interrupt you. But... No, I just want to say there's a lot of people in the comment section who tell me and my brother that we're being too nice about it and we ask too nicely and we need to put our foot down and start being mean about it. Honestly, stop coming to the fucking house. Stop showing up to the home. My mom can't even take the trash out anymore. Sometimes my dad wakes up at 5.30 a.m. to go to work and there's people outside. And sometimes he gets back from work at 11 p.m. and there's people outside. Like, enough is enough. Me and my brother have asked nice... Please no. We hate being rude. We hate being rude to our own fans who look up to us. But if we're being honest, me and Brian have asked nicely on Twitter. We've made videos asking nicely. We say, can you please respect our privacy? And this is what happens. You get taken advantage of when you act nicely. So... No, don't show up to the home anymore. Wait, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but that looks so good on you. Go show your mom. My mom and dad are out. Oh. So we're home alone. Mm hmm. No, guys, if we're being honest, I've said a million times, me and Brian have both said it. If we're out in public and we're at the mall and we're out anywhere other than our house, even if we're out in the driveway, okay, fine. But just don't show up, get out of your car, and start standing outside the front door and banging on the garage or the door. Just don't do that. Like, please... We don't show up to your guys' home, so please don't show up to our home. This is after all the videos that we've made, after all the tweets that we've put out asking, please don't show up to the house. And we've had three people in the past hour, like three different Wait, families. babe, that looks so good on you. For the millionth time, the millionth, billionth, trillionth time, me and Brian, rather than being mean about it, rather than be, like putting our foot down, we ask politely, we ask nicely, can you guys please stop coming to the house? It's weird, we need some privacy. We tweet in a nice manner. We tweet saying, please stop showing up to the home and people take advantage of that. So I guess from now on, we gotta put our foot down and there's a lot of people who comment saying you guys are being too nice about it. Now I know what you guys mean. I've been home for one hour, just one hour, trying to edit my video, which is already a late upload. I was trying to make it to Ollie's game and Three different cars. I'm not saying three fans. Multiple fans each coming in different cars. 
Could you imagine if me and Brian have never made videos? There would be literally a flock of 50 people outside the home every day. Like, it's just too much. It's too much. This is just a regular day. Like, day we wake up and we try to be with my dad and everything. Like, I don't know. It's just insane to me, but I'm about to finish my video. Thank you, babe, for the gifts. Guys, about the whole fan situation, let me, I, I don't want you guys to take it the wrong way because a lot of people assume, I don't know how, like, honestly, you got to be dumb to assume, oh, wow, you don't want your fans to come to your house. You don't even care about us. Uh, we're the reason you're even in this position. We understand that. Just because we say don't come to the house doesn't mean we don't understand. Honestly, if that's your logic, then you honestly don't have a brain. But honestly, it's just safety more than anything. It's say it's a safety issue more than it being annoying or more than it being rude. It's just safety. You hear stories about people getting killed. You hear stories about people getting hurt. And like, you think I want my dad to go out at 5 in the morning on his way to work and there's fans outside? You think I want him to come back from work at almost midnight and there's people waiting for him outside? You think I want my mom, like... At least we're men. My mom's a, like my mom's a girl. Like she gets, she's scared. I don't want her to go, you know, take out the trash or go get her some late night snack at like midnight. And there's people waiting for her outside. It's just like, yes, it is rude and it is annoying. Like like you saw in one hour, I was only home for one hour, and three different cars came by while I was trying to edit, yelling through the window, and some of them were knocking on the garage. It, but yes, that's annoying. But it's not even about that. It's just safety like, more than anything. And also. That guy who I said, please don't come to the house anymore, he actually tweeted to me after. He said, you know what he said? He said, wow, you're so mean, you're so rude. We only knocked one time. I said, bro, it's not about how many times. There should have been zero knocks. Your answer should have been, we only knocked zero times. Like, there shouldn't be anybody at, like, the fact that your logic is, oh, we came to the house, but we didn't bang on the gate. We Like, just don't, please don't show up to the home. And a lot of people say, oh, well... If you don't want fans to show up to the house, why don't you do some meet and greets? If you follow me on Twitter, you see every single time I'm out, every time, I either tweet it and I tell people to come, or on Snapchat, I'll Snapchat where I am and I wait for people to show up. I even wait. Like, if I have to leave but fans tell me that they're coming, I wait for the fans. Just like today, I'm going to be at Escondido Mall. I'm not sure what time, but I will tweet it. I'm going to be at the mall today. So you can't say... Oh, well, if you did meet and greets, people wouldn't show up. Because I do always try to let people... I don't know. It's just safety more than anything. I hate, hate, hate to, would hate to ever be rude to our fans, especially people that come here. But that's why we ask nights because we never want to let it get to the point where we have to be rude about it. You've seen PewDiePie's video. You've seen other YouTubers' videos, and they're very rude about it. And they take a stand right away. And I guess they do it the right way. Me and my brother just have... We have too soft of hearts that we say it too nicely. And look what happens when you say nicely. You get it, You get taken advantage of because with so many tweets, so many videos, and people still show up. It's clear that you can't be nice about this subject. You got to put your foot down, and we hate to do it this way, but there's no more showing up to the home. Guys, I don't know if... Look. Look at this shit. Why would Charlie's Philly... You think people could chew this? Look, I had to literally eat around it because... Look, babe, do you hear that? Look, look, listen. This, this tasted and feels like someone took a chunk of the blacktop, like the street outside from here and just cooked it on. Like, why would you even look at this and serve it? It literally tasted like a, a chunk of the freeway that I drive on. We're not animals. We don't have animal teeth. We're humans. We can't chew this. It's almost broke mine and Jackie's tooth. Look. Ah, putting the fact of pure nastiness aside, like putting aside that people don't eat this just because it's gross, is this not like not healthy for you? Um, I'm not sure this is very healthy. I don't know. I just don't see how, as a worker there, you can actually see this and serve it to a customer. I don't know. And I don't like to waste food. I was starving, so I tried my best to eat it because, like, why would you waste a whole meal? But honestly, it was like not. No, it's not your fault. It was this. It's just like not physically possible to for a human to bite this. I, guys, Jackie tweeted the picture of the Philly cheesesteak, and someone replied saying, "What did they say? Wait, what? someone said return that shit back. Someone said I wouldn't eat that. No, yeah, someone said that's pretty much like burning your money. It already burned all over. <laughs> guys, my girlfriend said it was so hard to find a." anniversary card for me because all of them were so sweet and, and you were not so i had to find something sexual for, like, all you're good at. <laughs> she knows me so uh -huh. that's not all i'm good at that's one of the things i'm good at.